Hi you guys and welcome back to another video. Happy 2024. You guys, I am sitting down here on a Sunday New Year's Eve day, very, <clears throat> very eager, very determined, and just very full of, full of, I don't even know the word, full of, full of energy, I guess you could say, ready for this new year. For today's video, you guys, I want to just sit back and chat with you guys about my vision board and my goals and my, my vision for 2024. I don't know if it has to do with me living out my last year in my 20s because I did just turn 29 or if it's the fact that New Year's Day is on a Monday. I don't know what it is, but I feel very much ready for 2024. I'm excited. I am just ready for a fresh start for this year and for so many things to come. And so I want to just chat with you guys about my goals and show you guys my vision board, show you guys what I have in mind for this new year. If you have not already sat down with your thoughts, created your goals, created a vision board, whether that be on paper or digitally, I suggest you do so. This was the first time I've ever created a vision board and I love how it came out. All I did was I sat down, first of all, I wrote myself a letter before I turned 29 of how I want to live out my 30th or my 29th year. And I kind of took that letter and I pulled out key components and categorized everything. So I have health, spiritual, motherhood, um, family, and self. And so I took those categories and then just looked at what I want each of those categories to look like for my life in this next year. So this year is like not only like 2024 is my year, but it's like my 29th year of life. Like I'm, I'm trying, I'm bettering myself before I turn 30. That's what I'm, I'm seeing this year as. And so I wanted to share that with you guys. And so all I did was after I categorized everything, I wrote down everything I wanted to implement on my vision board. And then I went on to Pinterest and I literally searched everything I wanted, saved all the photos, and I created myself this collage. After I created this collage, you guys, I set this as my iPad wallpaper. I set this as my phone wallpaper. I made copies and printed them out so that I can put them in my scrapbook, so that I can have a visual on in my room. I'm also going to be putting this as my wallpaper on my work computer. I'm making this year the best year that I've had in a while. Um, my life is nothing to be complaining about or upset about. I actually love my life and I just have felt like I've dealt with internal struggles to enjoy it and so I'm really just pulling out that inner love for myself, for my family, for my life so that I can just enjoy this year. I am pulling back all of my childhood all the things that i love all the things that i enjoy i'm pulling that out because i feel like it's been buried as i became a teacher as i became a mother i feel like i have buried down who monica truly is because of other things going on in my life which are all blessings but for this year i'm pulling those things out so if you don't know i am a very creative person i, I like to say that i'm very creative i just enjoy doing crafty things and so i'm pulling that back out in this year i'm pulling as you guys have noticed i've pulled out my scrapbooking skills like i am really enjoying it i'm on my fourth page i'm gonna be starting my fourth and fifth page today of scrapbooking and i'm not putting any guidelines as to how i'm scrapbooking i'm kind of just doing what feels right in the moment and kind of going through it and i want to see and look back at my scrapbook at the end of the year and i'm just so excited for that so i'm pulling on my scrapbooking skills I'm gonna learn how to sew this year. I'm super excited. My grandpa actually was going to show me how to sew when I was like in middle school, but we never got the chance to, I never got the chance to learn. And so I'm so excited. I, I was gifted a sewing machine for my birthday. So I'm so excited to actually learn how to use it. I also have a Cricut. And so if crafts apply, like I really want to start pulling out my Cricut more often to create different things and uh, reading. Reading is something I've always enjoyed, but have had a hard time making the time for it. Because in the past, I've read a book here and there, but it was nothing like I'm determined to just read a lot of books. And so I'm going into the year already have completed two books, which I'm very proud of. My goal is to at least read one book a month. So by the end of 2024, I would have at least 12 books read. And that's only like a minimum goal. So if I could read more, I'm just definitely going to. And I already know that I will get more time during the summer and like the vacation times to read more. So 
really looking forward to those times continuing my youtube videos and just doing my best to be consistent honestly a goal for myself would be at least like a video a month but obviously like kind of like my reading i could do more if i I want to do more, but if I can't, then I'm not going to force it, but just trying to build my channel up. I've gained almost 100 new subscribers from the start of 2023, so I'm excited to see how I end 2024. As of today, I have 240 subscribers, so thank you guys all that have subscribed over the years. Um, when it comes to family, I mean, I really just want to focus on spending more time with our family. Obviously, like the household we live in, but also our family um, back at home, and so I want to schedule out at least one visit a month rather that be to visit Peter's family or my family or whatever like take a trip or do something family oriented I really just want to appreciate the time I get to spend with my family because I hardly see them um and that's just because when it comes to work and kids it's very hard to make those trips because it's not like they live down the street and so um I really want to make more effort this year to visit our family and when it comes to motherhood, I want to just become more present or focus just on building those memories with my kids. I think this is something I've been doing since I was pregnant with my first. Like, I just really love and want to document everything for my kids and just have a good time with them. But I'm really just wanting to focus on patience and presence with my kids this year. I really just want to be walking more. Um, I want to return to yoga because once I got pregnant with Onyx, I paused my yoga membership and so I still have a few months in my membership to use. So I want to get back into my flexibility. Um, I don't think you guys know this, but when I was in middle school, high school, elementary, I used to cheer and dance and I actually was able to tumble. And so I really, by the end of this year, would love to be able to do a backflip again because I haven't done one in so long. So I want to build up my strength. I want to re, um, what's the word? I want to rebuild or restructure, restrengthen my abs. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but when you have a kid, your abs separate and so they are really weak. So I want to build my abs back up. I want to build my strength up. I want to build my, a re flexibilitize myself. I don't even know if that's a word, but I want to get flexible again. And the ultimate goal is so that I can do a backflip. I want to show my son a proper like like my son and my daughter are into like gymnastic types of moves. My son can basically do a cartwheel. My daughter is very flexible and into like um, holding on to herself. Like she's super strong. And so I want to show them that side of me that I had as a child or growing up because that's who I am. And that's how I want my kids to see me. Drinking tons of water um, and then just having a healthier relationship with food. Um, in my Vlogmas videos, I kind of briefly talked about this diet or this type of lifestyle I'm trying to adapt to. So really, I just want to have a different mindset when it comes to food and fueling my body for the need to and not the want to. I just want to continue to have a daily relationship with God, teach my kids how to be disciples of God. I want to, um, I want to go to church, which is something I've always wanted to do, like literally for years, but I just have the hardest time finding a church that I want to call home. And I'm just going to keep praying about it, reading my Bible, um, doing my studies, and just listening to God and really making moves based on the Holy Spirit. Because sometimes we listen and we hear the Holy Spirit, but we are not obedient. So I want to learn to be obedient and just really just... Keep my family knit tight with God because I want my kids to be raised to know God. And I'll like the only way they can do that is by me learning and modeling that for them. Since I've been a teacher, you guys, I have not taught a full year. I have been absent here and there because of pregnancies. And so this is my first year. Well, like in August when I start the new school year, that's going to be my first year like hopefully not pregnant or missing any any school because I'm really excited for a school full year a full school year and to just give my all in my career um I love teaching I love being around my students but when you have a family it's really hard to kind of separate that the division between family and career and because of that I've never gotten to fully love and express myself in my career like I want to and so I'm hoping in this upcoming school year, I will get to do that. And the reason I say upcoming is because I'm going back to work in a, next week. But I will also be only teaching for like three months before I use my baby bonding. So looking forward to a new school year next year and hopefully a new start at a new school. I'm filming this video as a 
self journal to myself. I'm super excited for this year and I want to keep that energy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great new year. Make sure you set your goals, have your intentions, be mindful, be present, be loving to one another. I was about to start praying. Um, just be, be you. Happy New Year's, you guys.